Alrighty, folks. I think we're at the vicious crossroads of let's not go any further until we install the third function valve. And it's getting real remotes. I got the loader brackets on. Bumper on. I got these put together. Install all gravy from there. work on the tractor side of things for now. What else is this guy getting? Universal LED light kit. Stacking valve. We're probably going to need that. Double acting valve section. Probably going to need that for that. Armrest kit. Part number B7358. B7358 armrest kit. Whew. This bucket weighs a lot. This box doesn't weigh a lot. I think we're just going to open them up right. Let's just do them right here in the middle. And this, is, this is probably as good as any. Is that music too loud? I'll turn it down. Richie! Let's hope for no copyright claims on the piano bar music. Look at this. This is mint. This handle is all ready to go. That's awesome. Usually, uh. Anyway. I thought this used to be like two pieces. I have to like put it together here in the middle. Any hooski. Makes my life a lot better. Anyone doing on this own, on their own. They just made it a little easier for you. Just straighten all these out. I can do this after the fact. That is a new handle lever for the loader valve, loader valve letter. And these are going to be the hard lines. Yeah, huh? How do these things look? What's up? All right, man. I'll hear that doorbell ring. Anyway, those hard pipes go in the uh, loader. Some, somehow. Where's the other bucket? Right behind me. Oh my God, this thing's heavy. This thing's heavy. Still psyched about that. Never be all put together. And we just do the unboxing and it's gonna do the quick one. Looks like we got the wire harness in there, some nuts and bolts, copper washers, hydraulic fittings. Some brackets for the hard pipes there. Oh, those are bigger ones. The ones in the track will come off. Get replaced with bigger ones. Instead of holding four pipes, I think you're gonna be holding six pipes up there. Yeah, so getting those two pipes in there, if I remember correctly. It's a pain. All right, here's the bracket that's gonna go in the front. Let me see some of those. Things are. Oh, yeah, see, those are gonna run down the. Run down the loader valve. Stick out the front there. Man, those black covers are making me feel insecure. There we go. There's the uh, little bracket for the loader to keep the hoses in nice. There you go. One hydraulic hose. 
two hydraulic hoses. One, two. Those are just gonna connect to the end of that, like that. There you go. All right, this is gonna be the, uh, if it had a backhoe, you would need to use this part. And the female fitting would go right there. This is got a third function valve, so we need to use this one. Using that one. That is the heavy part. Here, folks. Let's open this up quick. Let's see. I got the valve in the cover. There's two parts in one. Oh, that's heavy. That is nice, though. Look at that. It is very heavy. And it's full size. And, uh, oh, yeah. All right, there's the balls. All right, put that down. Add another foam pad to my collection. And here's the cover here. Trash, trash, trash. Right, here we go. That's gonna be the wire harness. So this part is gonna go up in the dashboard. It's gonna go in line with the relay that's already there for your switch power source. Yeah, that's going to go down to the two valves, and then this is going to go to the joist joystick. So those are for the hard pipes, and the zip ties, Some hydraulic fittings here, more trash on the floor. What are the, those are caps. Those are caps. Guy's getting a lot of good, should I sneak over to parts? Slap some flat face fittings on there for him. Save the guy a headache. You know, got a little relay bracket here. <sighs> this one. Big bolt, big nut, another big nut, nut. The long bolts. The shorter ones, a couple of long 10 mils, two crush washers here. Just gonna go over there. Yep. And that's the third function valve for this machine. And uh, let's start on the tractor side.